guys. Um, I'm back again. This is like, uh, let's see, one, two, three. That's this is the fourth video um, up in two days. So I'm doing pretty good, I think. Um, today's video is going to be on how to create an installer using the program files of a program. So, for instance, say you download a program and you install it on your computer and you deleted the installer package so that now you can't take those program files and put them on a different computer and have it work because it's not been installed. This is such a pain to me and I've always wanted to know how to do this and I just found it today. I didn't really research too hard on it but um, I did a little bit and then I found it somewhat by accident. Um, so I'm gonna tell you how to do this now. So first thing you're gonna need to go to advancedinstaller.com. The link's gonna be in the video description. Once you go there, it should look like this. And you're gonna go to download right up here. And you're gonna click this button. All right. You download and it should save to your desktop something that looks like this or at least with the name and then you run that and you should get an icon that looks like this I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need that right now so you got an icon that looks like this and you open it up and you click simple it's already on simple so just click that and I click I leave this on use wizard to create the project it goes so much faster I mean you could probably do other lots of other stuff without this using the wizard but I just like to use it it goes faster and then click OK and click next and now you type in a name for your application so I'm gonna type in um, application test and your company that doesn't matter um, actually um, what's gonna happen with your company is when if you look in your program files let me go there now you go to here program files it's gonna show all these files program files <laughs> and so let's say we've got uh, 7-zip now if you open up 7-zip, here's all the program files. Oh, sorry, I already deleted that off my computer. That can get deleted. Uh, bad example there. Uh, let's see. iDump, okay. iDump has only two things in here. But these two are um, the program files for iDump. Actually, there's another one, but I moved it. Um, so if you look, you're going to have just, obviously, iDump, and you open it up. Now, if you put a uh, company in here, what's going to happen is it's going to have your company name as a folder in here, and then you're going to open that up, and then it's going to have a folder called iDump inside, or in this case, it'll have a folder called Application Test. So you can put a company in there, or you can just leave it blank. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you can't. So you have to put something in there, but that's what it is. So this is going to be the name of the folder so it'll be the name of let's use this item as an example again and then it'll have inside of that folder so if you named your company idump inside of this folder here would be another folder that's named whatever this is application test just explaining that there so um, I'm just gonna put test and now you can click next select the folder containing the files for your application so you click browse and you go to uh, program uh, I mean your compute my computer I renamed mine and go to local disk C or your C drive or whatever your hard drive file is go down into program files right here I already have it open find that open it up find a the program that you want to create an installer for. So, um, 
I guess I'll use Rocket Doc because I just used that before as a test. So just click it once. If you click the plus thing over here, it's not going to do you any good because that's all the stuff that's inside of it. So you just click it once and it shows the folder open there like that. See how it opens? So click the at whichever on whichever uh, program you want. Click OK. It shows where it is. You click next. Uh, and now you click the um, the files you want to create a shortcut for. So for me, that's the uninstaller. You can kind of see it says unin at unins zero 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 dot exe. Um, so that's just the uninstaller. Most likely, I'm almost positive it is because that's what it says there, kind of. So you want to click rocket doc dot exe because that is the actual file that if you go into start programs and click uh, I dump and click I, oops not in there uh, let's say uh, here deluge uh, or audio audacity blah either one any of these any of these things in here unless it's in another folder so if you click this that is running a file called Mozilla Firefox.exe or Firefox.exe or something like that whatever uh, the creators of it decided to name it so that was kind of down a trail there not really needed to be said but if some people want to learn that anyway you can select multiple ones if you'd like but if you, I usually only do the main one which runs the program so that when you're done installing it once you open the installer that we're making now when you're done installing it it'll run the program automatically and I'm gonna click create shortcuts in both start menu and desktop um, for this file so when they install it on their computer it's gonna create a shortcut in their start menu on de and in desktop or you can click just desktop or start menu but I'm gonna click this and you click next and you, if this box isn't checked you click or you check it click finish and find a spot where you want it to save it as or save it on and I'm gonna just save it to my desktop it's already selected over here and I'm gonna name it um, rocket doc installer and this should be on pro the project files and then star dot AIP you can't it, you shouldn't have any other option besides all files over there but even if you click that it's just gonna show stuff up there so make sure it's on there click save this is going to take a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is and how many how big the installer is going to be when it's uh, done and when that's done you can check this if you want that'll uh, close this out when it finishes so now it's done see it says build com uh, build finish successfully and now you can click OK <laughs> This is just sh um, showing you all the things that you filled in and stuff. You don't need that open. We don't need this open. And right here on my desktop, I created these three files right here. So we got uh, Rocket Doc Installer Cache. I don't even know what that's for. Um, and we've got Rocket Doc Installer AIP. Now, if you run this, it's uh, this is just your. Um, opening it it's the project basically so you're not going to give this to your friend or whoever you're giving the installer to so that's not it and this you don't need I don't know what it's for this is what you want rocket duck installer whatever you named it I named it that and then dot MSI so the dot MSI file is the one that you're gonna want to use so just always just go like this double click it make sure it's working there you go, it comes up, and then you can click cancel, yes, and close this, and you've got your installer.